Hello, welcome to the review of Open Heavens Daily Devotional for Tuesday, 9th April 2024. Our topic today is Benefits of the Anointing. Benefits of the Anointing. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord, because it's your desire to always teach us and bring us into the knowledge and understanding that you want us to be in. We ask, oh God, that you teach us today again in the name of Jesus. As we review today's Open Heavens Early Devotional together, we ask, Lord Jesus, that you speak to our hearts in the name of Jesus. Let the power in your word, let it transform our lives irrevocably in the name of Jesus. Help us to know the benefits of the anointing and to desire it even much more in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for we've prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Today, our Bible text is taken from 2 Kings chapter 2 from verse 15 to 22. But our focus for today's review is the memory verse. And we have that in Luke chapter 4 verse 18 Luke 4 18 and it reads the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has set me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised praise the Lord and we see from this Bible text, Luke chapter 4, verse 18, that there are several benefits of the anointing of God upon our lives for other people. So it speaks here of people who need healing, who need to be preached to, the brokenhearted, the captives that need to be delivered. But then there are still several benefits of this anointing for the person who carries it. For example, the one and the you know, very major one is that an anointed person can be a blessing to diverse kind of people. So the benefit of you being anointed is that you can be a blessing to a whole lot of people. We read it in Luke chapter 4 verse 18 because the anointing is for us to preach the gospel to the poor. So we are able to be the blessed person who will bring the gospel to people who do not know God. Then he sent us to heal the brokenhearted. So we're a blessing to brokenhearted people, blessing to those who are in captives, blessing to those who are blind and etc. But the interesting thing that we need to know is that as the people who are poor can be sick and need healing, the same way the people who are rich can be sick and need healing. And we see that in the case of Elisha, who um, in the Bible, the Bible makes us to understand that it was a blessing to the poor widow and the widow never recorded, you know, being poor again. She had enough. She had abundance despite what was the prevailing economic situation around her at that time. We also see in the case of Naaman, who was a rich, influential man who was sick, who had leprosy and came to the prophet. And he as well, you know, God, he as well got his own healing by virtue of his interaction with the prophet, by virtue of the prophet being a blessing unto him now if the person who is sick becomes healed then the person becomes happy and joyful this means that the anointed person has the opportunity has the privilege has the power to put smiles on the faces of people by virtue of the things that they are able to make happen the other thing is that you know pain sorrow sicknesses poverty can even be you know the source of the cause of the end of a family the cause of sorrow and pain in a family people can get so sick and then they die they pass on by virtue of that illness but if they come in contact with an anointed person who by virtue of the anointing of God on his or her life is able to bring healing to them, then the sorrow in that family is averted. Whatever untimely death that was trying to creep into that family by virtue of sicknesses will be sent away. The anointed person is also divinely protected by God. God said in his word, he said, touch not my anointed. 
and do my prophet no harm and this tells us categorically that when someone is anointed the person becomes untouchable for the enemy untouchable for the devil because god turns the person even to fire chariots of fire edge of fire is around the anointed people of god so there are several benefits of being anointed and if you have not been desiring the anointing up until now i want to encourage you this is the time for you to desire earnestly the gift the you know anointing the power of god to work miracles in the life of people we need to seek the anointing of god and i pray that as we seek god's anointing it will be poured upon us mightily in the name of jesus christ there's a bit of note of warning in today's devotional as that the geo wrote it and i want to read it as i wrote it it said it is important to note however that if an anointed person blesses solely for monetary gains the problem of the rich will become the fellow's problem as Naaman's leprosy became that of Gehazi. I pray that that will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for enlightening for us a few benefits of being anointed. We ask, oh God, that we will not seek your anointing even for personal gains or for monetary terms or monetary reasons only in the name of Jesus. We ask that for every single time we interact with people, interacting with them by virtue of your anointing upon our lives, it will be to serve, it will be to be a source of blessing unto them, it will be to link them up to you, our God, the source of the anointing in the name of Jesus. Father, we will not go ahead and play, pray for people or bless them or heal them because of our personal gains in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because we know you're working your perfect work inside of us. Thank you because the benefits of being anointed would always be in abundance in our lives. We give you all the praise, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.